<laughs> I found something interesting here. Look at this. <laughs> These are crabs. Some kind of fish. You know, so this a small turtle. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> Good morning from Chiang Mai. I got so excited to do some videos again because in the last two weeks I'm not really feeling well but I'm completely okay now. So we will start our new video again here beside of Ping River and we will visit us to the water road market you will see in this video. I actually speak to one of the locals here and I he let me check his stuff for fishing. So in beside of this Ping River, there are some locals who do fishing. So look at this, really nice. Wow, this is catfish, right? Catfish. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, this looks so good. We got two catfish. <laughs> While I'm walking here, I noticed there's a small map of the Ping River connected to different provinces in northern Thailand. Look at this, it's really amazing. Uh, I can imagine that the Ping River is really connected to hmm. different provinces in northern Thailand. And you can also check the water situation when you tap on this QR code. When you walk around beside Ping River, it feels like you want to go to the boat side because it's really beautiful. Look at this. It's an invitational to sit down or just keep walking. But the best thing is you can walk everywhere. You can see this. This is what they use to catch some fish here in Ping River. Can you like that? Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> it's really nice. It's like a clay. Seems like the weather is not for me today. But still, we'll just wait for the rain to stop and we will continue the adventure. <laughs> so the rain stopped already. That's the Iron Bridge, but we will not go there. We will go to Nawarat Bridge, right over there. Standing here right now at Nawarat Bridge, leading into the city of Chiang Mai. And this is a white bridge, which is you don't normally see here. If you're staying in the old town or in the square, it's a 20 minutes walk from Tapir Gate just to get here. You won't even need a car or a motorbike just to get here if you love walking. Mostly this bridge is decorated with hundreds of flowers, both sides of this bridge. But right now, it's all plants. And it's also perfect for pictures. This bridge is also standing at night as the lights reflect on the river to make an upside down replica of the real thing. And it's also the best place to watch fireworks and release your lantern during the Loy Kratong Festival. <music> we 
careful also when you are walking in this bridge because this bridge is quite busy. Look at this, it's so beautiful. Well, the adventures continues here. Across the, this bridge is Waterrot Market, right over there. Waterrot Market is a large outdoor market in Chiang Mai. So one of the most popular market in this area. Look at this, they sell flowers also. It's really hot here right now. 32 degrees. Ooh, it's really hot. And I think right now it's not quite busy because it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and we'll go and explore this area. Market has four separate buildings here where the shop sells food, clothes and meats but we will start our adventure here in this side first. like this market is a wet market because they sell poor seafood and fresh vegetable but I found something interesting here look at this it's a friends some kind of fish and also this a small turtle <laughs> I'm not sure if you can really eat this thing, but let's ask the seller. So this cup, you can eat? No? no? Pet? Oh. oh, I think you can put the um, turtle in the fish pan. It's like a pet. How about this? The frog? Eat no? Uh, <laughs> the frog, you can actually eat it really a lot. It seems like this market outside is a wet market and inside of this building you will see a lot of Thai snacks like around in the middle of this uh, building and you can buy a lot of things here it's like you can buy tea, different kinds of local Thai snacks over here So now we will go ahead to the second building of the Parrot Market so let's go. Before I leave this building, I want to say goodbye to them. So all of this. Hello. It's the second building from Waterrot Mark. And we will go ahead now. So what is that? Thank you. <laughs> So I feel so hot right now and I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna take some shake for this one. So what do you have? Um, can I have pineapple shake? Yeah. How much? 45 bucks. Okay. Um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some pineapple shake and just gonna sit a little bit in this area. So I already got my an apple shake here. Let's taste it. It's really refreshing. And they also sell other stuff here. Like we have some smoothie, herbal tea, cold bread. <laughs> I don't know what it's food tea and Italian soda. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> Doing my smoothie. We're gonna walk around. And things seems really organized here. Shops over there and food on the side so I can see that um, they all tell the same thing on here but I noticed that the difference on this second market they sell a lot of food a lot of like um, dried foods and dried foods like this there's like a lot <laughs> so this one what is this? Hi, long can. Long can? Yeah. Sweet? Yeah. Thai sweet? Sweet. Oh, mm. and I mean, 
Is that so? That's all. And how much is this? I... One twenty. One thirty. One thirty. Very much. Well, let's have. I'm a one hundred. When I said the pistachio is a bit expensive, the woman she lowered the price immediately. But I am not into that right now. So I'm gonna walk right now outside of this building, and I will visit the Chinese temple here. This is the Chinese temple here in Wararot Market and we will go inside and we will walk around because after this temple we will go ahead to the last building that I'm going to visit. So let's go inside. On the way right now to the last um, building that I'm going to visit for this video and I read that this market is also famous for to become a tourist attraction particularly for people buying some souvenirs 99.9% .9 of shoppers here are mostly locals plus I think they're targeting mostly the locals here but at least bargaining is accepting in this market but do it in a friendly way so this is gonna be the last building that we will visit for today look at this we will go there and buy some underwear for me because next week we will go outside of Chiang Mai I keep on trying to depend still it feels like I pretend keep on driving and driving along the road to never end lost my head on Vilma's back between the jars and bottle jar just got already my two underwear it costs 238 baht thank you bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> and i think this is gonna be the end of our uh, adventure for today because next week i'm gonna go outside of chiang mai so if you want to see more interesting places here to visit here in chiang mai you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell button for notifications and if you are new to my channel you are very welcome come on subscribe and join me bye 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 bye